Now that Super Mario Construct version 8 is upon us, how do we add custom music to our levels? You might think that since the editor looks so different, with a lot of new additions, custom music's gotta work completely different. Well, not really. You just have to grab a working URL for the music file you want to add to your level, just like how it was in version 7. The only difference here is that you have a few more extra options. We'll get to these later. Like before, YouTube links will not work. You will have to upload an mp3 file to Dropbox or File Garden. I will show you how to upload your music file in both sites and get the working link. So buckle up and follow my steps closely so you will also succeed in adding your custom music to your creations. Once logged into your file garden account, click on this orange upload button and then select your custom music file. Then select, head over here on the right to click on this clip button next to the URL. This will automatically copy it. Once logged into Dropbox, Go to your account and either drop your music file or click this big upload button, then file and select your custom file. And as it is added to your drive, click on it and hit this clip icon next to share, which automatically copies a link to your file. But make sure that it says anyone with this link can view. If it doesn't, click on manage, then head to the who has access section and change the option to anyone with link. Once that is done, hit save and then click on the clip icon to copy your link again. We will want to open a new tab on our browser and paste our link. Just like how it was back in V7, we must make a few changes to our URL before bringing it to the game. Now pay close attention because this can get tricky. We have to replace the www with dl and then between Dropbox and .com write user content just like this. You can leave all this extra fluff after the mp3. Hit enter and the web page should look like this, with just a small rounded rectangle in the middle. If you're seeing this, great! And as a bonus, you can also use the Level Share Square custom music database created by Vortoxium. In here, you can search for a song by hitting Ctrl F and input either the name of the music you have in mind or the game where it's from. Let's say... Hairship. As you can see, there are 6 matches in the database. In here, all you have to do to use the music you want is to simply copy the link at the far right. That is literally it. All set to paste it to Super Mario Construct. Once you have the link for the custom music, head over to Super Mario Construct, Settings, Edit Music and head towards here, Map Theme. Click on the little pencil icon on the right. This will bring you to all of the editor's in-game themes, but you want to click on this white tab at the top. Manage custom music. Now, simply click this green nice looking add custom music button. It will show you something like this. What you see is literally what you get. The buttons themselves guide you along the way. Keep in mind that this green add custom music button will open a new slot for another custom music to be added to your level. To really add your custom music, do as the white blue button says and click on it. Can you guess where you'll paste the link for your custom music? If you think it's this little loop space, then I'm sorry, but you're wrong. It's this light blue box that says URL to external music source. And as an added feature in Snapshot 29, you can now label each custom music you add to your level by clicking on name and type anything you'd like to identify your custom musics. Loop will reset the loop point in your music. And in the window here, you input the number in seconds. Say I punch in 20 in here. This will tell the game to replay the music at the 20 second mark once it has finished playing the music until the very end. This white window next to loop is the volume option. You can go here and make your custom music less loud, having the ability to subtract 5, 10 or 15 decibels. To make sure your custom music is working, hit the green play button here on the right and if you have done everything correctly, it should play your music successfully. Now, I could end the video here, but I think it would be cool to tell you that there are a few more options in SMC to make the music in your level feel a lot more immersive and lively. You see, if you go to Objects down here and go down to Environmental Changers, you will find the Music Changer object. When you grab one of these guys and place one in your level, you can double-click it and you get these buttons. The first window shows the actions this object will trigger, Don't Change Music, which is used to make sure that Music B takes over and it doesn't stop playing. Use Map Default will take whichever track selected for the map that this object is in. This applies to both default music and custom music. However, when you change this action to change music to, you will have much more control over what music will start to play. If you click on this white blue button, you will be able to select 
any of the default tracks and any custom music you add to your level. The menu here works the exact same way as we have seen a while back. Your custom tracks will have their own tab and all of the default tracks are sorted by either level theme or game origin. By clicking on this green button at the top, this red button... I'm sure you can figure out what it does. And it only works for custom music. Refresher time! The green play button will only preview the music, so to really select the music you desire, make sure to click on the name of the music. Down here on transition method, you can pick between instant, crossfade and cued fade. Instant simply cuts music A and immediately starts playing music B. Crossfade ensures that the fade out of music A and the fade in of music B are intertwined, and both these events duration can be controlled in fade out and in below, the left window for the fade out and right window for the fade in. The duration in both windows here are measured in seconds. And then cued fade makes it so music B only starts fading in when music A has faded out completely. And like crossfade, the duration here is also customizable. And finally, we have these check marks dynamic and one time usage. If you tick the dynamic option, the new music will start at the same time that the current music starts playing. This can be pretty handy if your custom music happens to have a little bit of dead silence at the very start. One time usage should be pretty easy to tell what it does. When ticked, it ensures that each time Mario passes through the defined range, the music changer only takes effect once. All of the mechanics and principles I have shown you also apply to the switches tab, which is where you can add custom music for any time switch pressed, like P switches. The Starman tab allows you to upload and assign a custom music that will play whenever you collect a superstar. And then, Stithan! Any custom music chosen here will play when you collect Stithan, which is essentially the metal cap power-up of Super Mario Construct. Lastly, if you go over to Effects, by clicking on this pretty looking magic wand icon, you have three audio filters to add to your levels. Muffled audio, volume reduction, and echo, echo, echo. All of these can be customized by clicking on the gear icon. All of them are able to affect only music, only sound effects, and both at once. The eye icon simply enables or disables each effect. The red cross button... Mm, yep, um... Uh, it uh, it um, removes the effect. I'm not sure what you were expecting. Muffled audio, well... Uh, muffles your custom music when you're inside a body of water. That is if you check the option, check for water. Echo has some nice reverb to level music than every sound effect triggered in the map. From jumping, shell kicks, enemy stomps, you name it. Volume reduction simply makes music and or sound effects less loud, which can be very useful to set up all kinds of atmosphere to your level. And like the muffled audio effect, it has its fade in out duration option, again measured in seconds. The final step is to sit back and either chill or jam to the sound of your imported music, now playing when your own level is loaded. Should you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment and we will help you out. Blue7, signing off. Peace.